So a little bit about um, some history about V Technologies for those of you who might be new to us, um, for those of you who might already know us with our Shipgear product, uh, we welcome you as well. Um, but again, V Technologies um, came around in 1987. Uh, we have over 33 years of developing uh, integrated shipping applications. Um, we're very well known as our flagship product. We're going to talk about today is Starship, uh, but Shipgear is also our other product that we develop in-house as well. Uh, we work very closely with the carriers with UPS and FedEx. Uh, we are a UPS ready provider as well as a FedEx uh, platinum provider as well. What that all means is basically we qualify to be part of their subsidy programs um, so we can take those funds directly from them to help pay for the solutions that you may like through V-Technologies. Um, we also have been working with the Intuit team since 2002 when we decided to launch you know, our plug and play connectors with Intuit. Um, so again, you're gonna see today, uh, we have a direct integration into QuickBooks. Uh, we don't require any sort of middleware or anything like that to uh, connect us up with them or any import export functionality. Um, everything is a direct integration that we offer. Uh, and then just recently in 2019, we became part of their QSP, our QuickBooks Solutions Provider Program, uh, which we have the ability to uh, now go out and basically be, really become a one-stop shop for all of you to help you with your renewals on QuickBooks, but also help with any QuickBooks licensing from a new sale perspective as well. Uh, and still have the Intuit support on the back end, which I'm sure Tony will speak to you about in a minute as well. And then lastly, we have about 10,000 and growing customers um, across the country using not only QuickBooks you know, applications, but also all different sorts of ERPs or accounting systems that we can integrate to. Uh, so again, we do have a broad range of ERPs and things that sometimes we see QuickBooks provider, you know, or say QuickBooks customer, maybe grow out of QuickBooks based on inventory. Um, but we also have other um, connectors we can basically, you know, again, plug and play into um, and basically have that integration continue for you. So as I mentioned, based on our partnership here, um, again, we were basically going to help you save money by bundling the solutions together. So if you are a current QuickBooks user today, um, either online or enterprise, um, you basically, again, can help save on your renewals. Um, with QuickBooks by going through V Technologies to make that purchase on an annual basis. Um, and then at the same time, you can also be discounted on the Starship side as well for your ongoing renewals or your upfront purchases that you may have as well on our side. Um, again, it's basically you can receive up to 75% off your Starship prices, pricing, um, depending on the tier that you sit with QuickBooks, as well as what um, the, uh, the overall package is on the Starship side as well. This is basically um, right now, um, today, is good for our on-premise um, Starship solution. Uh, as our cloud solution for Starship uh, comes on board here in the next couple months, um, we will have a bundled solution for that as well. That pricing and discounted uh, rates haven't been determined at this time. And then lastly, uh, where you can benefit from is receiving this ongoing 20% perpetual discount uh, by going through V Technologies. Uh, on your licensing. So again, if you were to call into it directly today uh, and ask for a quote on your renewal or a new license, um, you basically are going to get quoted uh, most likely what they you know call you know their you know promotional rate uh, that is going today, which is typically a one year discount. Uh, and then you'll basically see that your pricing will increase the second year and beyond. This is an ongoing 20% off discount that we provide you uh, for the life of the license which basically will, again, will help with the bundling of the Starship program as well. So at this time, I'm gonna turn it over to Tony, kind of say a few words as well about the partnership that we have, um, and uh, we'll go from there. So Tony, the floor is yours. Yeah, hey, thanks, Simon. <clears throat> hey, everybody, uh, Tony Martinez here from Intuit. A uh, little bit about myself, I'm actually going on my 11th year here uh, at QuickBooks. I'm based out of Tucson, Arizona. I work very closely with Simon and his team uh, developing the partnership and just ensuring that the Starship uh, and Shipgear customers are getting the best prices from us. Um, a little bit about our QSP program, we are solution providers, um, so allowing us to get you the best price, the best bundled price, and the year-over-year -year price. As Simon mentioned, you know, um, having a perpetual discount is, uh, a, you know, that's an advantage that 
Simon and his team has just by partnering with Intuit, um, but ultimately just ensuring that you get the best um, pricing from QuickBooks and that you're getting them um, through our partnership as well. With that still comes all of the white glove, the hand-holding, the support, and everything that actually would be included uh, with either one of our products. Well, from a QuickBooks perspective, you know, ensuring that you're still getting up to speed and everything. Again, um, Simon has direct access to all of our Intuit team, which is not just myself. You know, um, he's got access to our merchant services um, managers and leadership team, our sales teams, marketing teams. Um, and myself. So we're always in the loop and in touch and ensuring that you're having the best experience um, that we can bring to the table. Um, but also uh, just want to mention that them just being a trusted QSP with us, as you can see there, they've got that QuickBooks solution provider advanced badge. This is something that, uh, you know, is limited and that's something that um, just only our specific resellers should be using and selling um, and just ensuring that they actually have that badge for quality. Other than that, uh, you know, if we have any questions, please let me know. Again, uh, I work very close with Simon, and I'm uh, happy to be part of the team. All right. Well, thanks, Tony. Appreciate those words. And uh, again, Tony's going to stick around. So if there are any questions uh, regarding QuickBooks or the partnership, um, feel free to ask those as well at the end, and we can address those uh, when we get there as well. All right, so uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Starship, I just want to review some of the main key features of what you're going to be you know, seeing. Today, we're going to focus on QuickBooks Enterprise, uh, but we also work with QuickBooks Online as well. So those are the two versions of Starship or QuickBooks that you would need in order to have Starship being able to function properly. Um, as I've already mentioned, they're basically a plug and play connector for both, um, where basically we're going to retrieve shipment information and item detail as well directly from QuickBooks. Um, we're going to show you today, as I mentioned, a Shopify integration, so how we both not only write into QuickBooks, but how we can also update your Shopify cart or any e-commerce cart that we are able to work with, um, with the tracking information as well as updating the status information uh, for those. Uh, and then for those of you who are looking at, you know, potentially like inventory management, you know, solutions and what QuickBooks can work with, um, and staying in QuickBooks from the accounting perspective, we do also have, offer a Fishbowl or an Activate integration um, that you can look at. And then again, we can just pull information directly from those sources and again, update the sources just like we would with QuickBooks as well. Um, and the other option you're gonna have here is basically you're using one application for all of your carriers. So a lot of you who might be using ShipGear today, you might be familiar with, you're still using WorldShip or Ship Manager um, to basically process your labels. Those solutions all go away. Starship replaces that and basically has one view for all of your carriers that are on your license. Uh, we basically are allowing you to rate shop in one application. Uh, we have about 25 right now different carrier integrations between direct and a few 3PL integrations from the LTL side that we offer as well. Uh, today I'm gonna to focus strictly on a parcel workflow, uh, but if you are interested on the LTL or 3PL workflow, um, let me know and we can definitely take that offline and show that to you as well. And then lastly, we also, the only carrier that we will supply you rates for is with the post office. So we will supply you with those discounted rates um, that the post office offers. Uh, they're the lowest rates you will get from the post office as well. Um, so again, that's something you can take advantage of from just a transportation savings um, that you know, we can offer to you as well. Starship also comes with a bunch of different rules built into it. Um, some of those are ship via rules, um, you also have your um, uh, freight rules as well as printing rules. So you have everything from if you're looking to do a markup um, type of you know, setup, uh, you basically have a freight rule implemented with either a percentage or a flat fee based on your negotiated rates um, or published rates, whichever you're, you're using. Um, and then same thing with ship via rules where you can basically associate different carriers to different shipments, uh, look at maybe transit time if you know certain um, you know, carrier is going to get there three days or less to use that carrier over another one. So things like that where we can help set up during implementation. Um, so therefore, you know, you could take advantage of the best rates that you have available for those different services. And then also today, which, you know, we're not going to go in too much into, um, but we do also offer different EDI integrations. So if you are using, say, a true commerce or, a, you know, SPS commerce, for example, uh, for your EDI, uh, we can work with those solutions as well. We're basically uh, uploading an XML file to those platforms that contains all the shipment information to help generate ASN information 
Uh, and then also Starship has the capability of generating 128 labels, which a lot of distributors uh, will need. Um, so we can help keep all the documentation together at the end. And then lastly, um, our support team here, um, who does a phenomenal job working with our customers today from start to finish. So if you're new to the, the program, uh, we're going to help with the full implementation of Starship, making sure that you're up to, up to speed and everything that you need from configuration, even when you're an existing customer, just being able to call in with quick questions or troubleshoot. Um, our team here takes their job very, very seriously and wants to make sure that there's you know, nothing more important than getting those packages out the door uh, in a seamless manner. So again, uh, our team here is all in-house. We don't outsource anything, um, and we're here basically 9 to 6 Eastern every day, Monday through Friday. This is just a slide of different carriers that we do support. As I mentioned, today's demo, we're going to focus around parcel. Uh, but again, uh, for those of you using LTL, uh, we do support the, all these carriers that you see on your on the, the slide here. Uh, and if, you, if your carrier is not listed here, it doesn't mean we can't work with them. It just means we can support them through our BOL module. Um, at this time, we can't get rates, unfortunately, since we don't have a direct integration, but we can help generate a BOL document that then you can get a pro number from that carrier and get that back into QuickBooks if that's what you're looking to do. And then these are the different e-commerce um, integrations we offer today. So we have about 14 listed here. Um, so again, we came out with all really the major national ones that a lot of you are familiar with, a couple different marketplaces such as like Amazon or eBay um, that we can also integrate into. So again, if any of these apply, what you're about to see here in a minute with the workflow, really the workflow is exactly the same for all of them. It's just a matter of where the tracking info is going to be placed to basically where the status is updated and what it's updated to um, is basically the only differences you're going to see. And lastly here, basically what we also offer our customers is the ability to do a full transportation analysis. So our partner who provides those post office rates I mentioned earlier uh, called Visible Supply Chain, um, they're based out of Utah. They're basically the ones giving you those post office rates that you're seeing. Uh, they will offer a transportation analysis to look at your FedEx and UPS billing files. Um, and they're going to look for some key critical things for you. They're going to look at um, transportation times. They're going to look at accessorial fees along with your base transportation charges. And they're going to help identify where maybe post office might be a good fit or may not be a good fit for you um, and show you what your current um, snapshot looks like today versus what it could look like if you were to incorporate some of the priority mail um, type of shipping into your workflow. Um, again, no obligation to you make any changes, um, more educational, more informative for you to make that decision on if you want to save money or kind of keep things the way they are today. And also, um, we're very excited. This is the first time we're making this announcement. Um, here today is basically we have a date um, scheduled here approximately March 10th um, to release our controlled release of Starship Cloud. Um, so we know a lot of users have been asking for cloud and a monthly SaaS offering option uh, over the perpetual licensing, that perpetual licensing we offer today with Starship. Um, so this will become available to users. Um, we are looking for those users who are new to Starship um, at this time uh, to basically join our controlled release program. Um, it's going to be open to QBO and QB users. Um, and also for those users, we're going to offer them a 60-day trial for free. Um, so there'll be no cost to using the program, integrating it with QuickBooks. Uh, and then basically we're looking for you to provide us that feedback. Uh, of basically any enhancements, any glitches that you might come uh, to, you know, see. Um, so therefore, we can basically, you know, take care of those immediately. Uh, again, you're going to be assigned a support specialist to kind of handhold you through the implementation of it all, uh, and then basically work with you on getting those enhancements and also um, those uh, future defects potentially um, basically fixed in a very quick manner. Um, again, and we're going to monitor this very closely um, and work with you, again, in a uh, timely manner as we move forward. So, again, if you're interested, there is a thing on the uh, poll in the, um, at the end that you can basically say you're interested, and we'll basically make sure we log you. We'll follow up with you when that time comes as we get closer to that date uh, of setting this all up for you uh, and, again, getting your feedback as we move forward uh, into the future. <clears throat> All right, and we're going to jump into the live demo now of Enterprise. So let me get out of 
here, and we'll come into that in a minute. All right, so, okay, perfect. So, um, so I like to start, um, since we're talking about e-commerce and QuickBooks uh, and how this all sort of comes together, um, I'm gonna take us into Shopify first uh, and basically just talk a little bit about what needs to happen. So first and foremost, um, we are gonna need to have the order status in Shopify um, marked as unfulfilled, right? So if it's fulfilled, nothing is gonna get written back because there's already gonna have shipment information. So for Shopify, we need that status to be unfulfilled. Uh, and then basically these items that you see listed here, I have one Aegis puck and then another two different, uh, two t-shirts uh, that I'm about to ship that my customer ordered. Uh, this is what's gonna get put into QuickBooks. I wanna make it clear Starship doesn't put the orders from e-commerce into QuickBooks. There are other applications we can put you in touch with at this time to make that connection happen, or you can still manually create your sales order or sales invoice inside of QuickBooks, whichever you see, um, you know, whichever is easier for you to do at that time. So again, and then lastly, we're gonna need the order number from any e-commerce cart to be placed into either a custom field or any open field you may have in QuickBooks so we can map that order number appropriately in Starship and write back to that appropriate order number inside of the e-commerce card as well. So let me take you into QuickBooks and show you what that order would look like once you have it in there. So here you have the order number that's created, 8879. I have that Shopify order number in my PO field, um, so it's 1392. Um, and then also what we're gonna map in is basically your ship to information along with the ship via if you know that ahead of time. This is not required, you can leave this blank if you wanna rate shop it and then write back the service that was used at the end, you can do that or just put it in here, we'll map it in and still allow you to rate shop it, it doesn't matter to us. And then also all the line item information. So everything here from item number to description to the order quantity all the way to the values, everything is gonna come into Starship and allow you to pack those items as you see fit. <clears throat> so when I come out of QuickBooks here, I'm gonna open up Starship so you can see what this looks like. <clears throat> so Starship here is basically a web browser client that you would be using. Uh, we do have a desktop client as well. Um, it's a little different view of what I'm about to show you, uh, but the web client here has everything in one screen, has quick processing times, um, and much easier for a lot of users to use uh, since everything is on one screen. But when you log into your web browser here, you're gonna come to your home screen, which is gonna show you the list of orders that are ready to be shipped. How do I know they're ready to be shipped is because I have a filter that's been set um, to look at those orders that have not been processed yet. So any order that's not been processed is gonna show up in this window here. So it looks like I have one order that's not been processed, which is that 8879. So if I have my um, sales order barcoded, um, I could easily scan that into this field here where my cursor is today and hit enter and the order will automatically be pulled into um, Starship from QuickBooks. Um, or I can use a shortcut here as well, uh, this little truck icon and click it once and all the information will be uh, coming in as well. Before I do that, I do wanna make one mention of that we don't only just work with sales orders in QuickBooks Enterprise, we also support sales receipt or you can work with a sales invoice. The workflow is exactly the same for all three document types. So there's no difference uh, with any of those um, that you're about to see here today. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit my truck icon. I'm gonna bring this order in for us so we can see what it all looks like. So as it comes in, so again, everything we do is a direct integration to QuickBooks. So there's no middleware sitting here making that connection or import export functionality going on. Everything is in real time. So again, we pulled in your uh, sales order from QuickBooks. Uh, we pulled in the ship via um, UPS ground, billing your account prepaid. I know there's probably users on today's call that probably ship third party, that's okay. Uh, we do have the ability either manually going into one of these widgets here and selecting third party here uh, and entering an account number, or you can have um, basically a third party ID created during implementation, or you could do it yourself for those users who you know that need third party UPS or FedEx um, uh, shipments to be made. And then what we would have you do is enter that account number in QuickBooks so we can map that field in properly and have that third party ID be the trigger that we kind of make the two connect. So that would automatically at that time make it change over to third party versus you having to click into third party yourself. So just want to make that clear. 
Um, up in the upper right, you see that the SHIP2 information has also come in here, and also we do an address validation. That's what the green checkbox is represented. So we're basically verifying street address, zip code, along with commercial versus residential. So all of that has come in for you. And then uh, down here below, uh, we have all of your packaging view and your line item view. So this is one uh, thing that you don't get from a world ship or a, a ship manager integration. You're only basically seeing boxes. So here you're gonna see all of your boxes along with all of the items from QuickBooks that have been pulled in. So there's those two items from Shopify to QuickBooks that have come in. So I have everything defaulted into one box. Starship also provides you with a packaging database um, that you can store all of your different box sizes, your weights, so your users can simply click the different box type they wanna use and have those dimensions preset as you see over here. Um, so they don't need to enter in those manually every single time. But if they do, they would just simply click custom packaging and go ahead and enter those dimensions uh, each and every time you're shipping a box. The other thing I want to point out in this uh, particular one here is you'll notice we have actual weight versus build weight. So Starship also can, takes in consideration any dimensional weight that's going on. So that's what this is representing based on the dimensions. This box is going to be rated at 13 pounds versus six pounds that you actually put it in for. So again, another thing, another feature that Starship offers as well. Um, if you do need to create a secondary box for any reason, you can simply do that here and enter a secondary box by clicking the icon, and then you can drag items uh, very simply by you know, bringing one down. So if I wanted to here, I can simply add a box, and if I wanted to, I could just simply just bring drag and drop, and now you see that I have one item in one box and two items in the other box. If I'm trying to create a packing list through Starship here, that's important as well. Um, and then lastly, here we have our line item view. Basically, again, we just have all the items that come in from QuickBooks. These are all the different mappings that you just saw. Um, again, if you wanted to back order any items here, you can do that. So in case if I only had one t-shirt in stock, I can simply mark this as one, get my whole order shipped out, and then come back and reship against that sales order uh, at a future date uh, with just the one item that I need to ship. Uh, the nice thing with e-commerce, um, certain e-commerce platforms support partially fulfilled and versus fulfilled. Um, in Shopify, we will mark that as partially fulfilled and then uh, uh, basically come back and um, uh, write back the second tracking number when you do have that back order happening inside of QuickBooks. And then the main feature of Starship here, um, the rate shops. So again, we're going to bring in all of the published rates, the contracted rates, and then the applied rates. So here you basically see the knows contract is what you're paying the carrier, and then this is where it could be applicable. So this is what we're gonna put back a 30% markup that's going on here. So the $56 is gonna basically be written back in QuickBooks and what I'm gonna assess back to my customer. Some people don't want freight charges written back to QuickBooks, we can turn that feature off and just have the tracking number written back if we wanted to. So that's an option you have as well. If you want to see what the rates look like for different carriers, you can either have a business rule that's basically set up that would automatically run and look for the lowest um, option available for you, and that would display here automatically, or you could basically have it run but not manually choose anything and have you choose it as a user, or you can come in here each and every time and basically click shop all, and that's going to go out, make those API connections to those carriers, and basically pull in those rates uh, for you in a seamless manner. So once those all populate here, um, you're going to see those come in and display from lowest to highest. So as it comes in now, here it comes. Okay. So um, so here you can see now <clears throat> from lowest to highest. I have all my rates available to me. And you can see in this example, UPS ground is fourth in line. Um, I have my sure post rates, uh, which we support as well for those UPS shippers out there. Um, so again, you, you could ship at sure post in this example, or you could see here, priority mail is gonna be $22 and you know, 60 cents versus $43 with UPS in this example. It's gonna both get there in one business day. So it might be beneficial if you wanted to change this you can do that by marking this with post office here by clicking the box next to it and then basically just changes it over to your easy post account who's our electronic postage provider that we would have you set up an account with with post office. So it's that simple if you wanted to create that versus you having to go um, 
you know, back and forth or re-import that whole order over again uh, for yourselves. I'm going to leave it with UPS for this uh, example, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and ship and process this to the F3 or the icon below here. And then basically this will generate those two labels uh, with the two tracking numbers for UPS. It's actually going to make a call out to the web service for UPS and let them know as they build your manifest as well um, how many packages you have to be picked up for that day. So here you can see a couple images of what we print. So we have a couple different printing options here. So we've created this smart label in-house that we call it. Uh, it's an eight and a half by 11 label stock that you can use. You go out and purchase these. Um, and basically it's a die cut. So this is a four by six die cut. You would just peel off and stick on the box. The other half becomes your packing list. Um, the packing list can be completely customizable. Some customers like to put their logos on here, add information, remove information, uh, whatever you want to make this look and feel you can. We give you a designer template to do that. Um, so again, you have full access to that. Um, you could simply use the QuickBooks packing list and turn ours off if you prefer. Completely optional uh, at this time. The other option people like to do is print both of these to a thermal printer um, and still use the labels UPS or FedEx provide you. You can do that as well. And then the last option is have this print to a thermal and have this print to a laser uh, printer as well um, and a regular sheet of paper. Completely up to you, the user. So you have one label there, the second label printed there with its individual packing list. Um, so the user, your customer, uh, will know exactly what's inside of each of those boxes. And again, as I pull up QuickBooks here, so you can see in real time, we're going to put back the two tracking numbers in the line item view uh, for you. We're going to list out the service that was used. Uh, this is also where the service would be listed if you were to change it to say post office in that example I just showed you. Um, that's where it would be listed here. And then also time sample when it was shipped on from a reference standpoint. If you want additional fields, some people do like dimensions or weights of the boxes. We have additional custom write back fields we can add in here. Uh, but basically people just want to see that a you know, tracking number has been provided. So if a salesperson or customer service person goes in here, they can easily access that information. And then lastly, the freight cost that's put back here as well. That was that applied rate I showed you. That's also been listed here um, that you can also modify if you wanted to at this point. And then lastly, um, you do have uh, back in Shopify in real time. Um, if I go ahead and basically refresh this order, um, you're now going to notice that in real time, you're going to have this now marked as fulfilled, right, from unfulfilled to fulfilled. And there's those two uh, UPS tracking numbers. Again, we put that all that information in the notes field as well. Um, so you have access to that information there um, for yourselves. And then we also make note of it um, down below as well that a notification has gone out. And um, you do have access to our full dashboard um, as well as our e-notify templates as well as a Starship user. So our dashboard has all different um, charts, graphs, more analytical um, for the users themselves to review from a week over week basis. So you have everything from total cost to total you know, uh, shipments by carrier uh, to maybe you want to look at a heat map, which we also provide down below here. Um, and you can move these around and make it your own custom view. Uh, but basically you can see where your shipments are going in case you're trying to make you know, more progress out west or in the Midwest, you maybe want to put some more marketing and advertising resources there. Um, this is kind of very helpful and something new that we just came out with as well. And then you also have access to different crystal based reports um, you know, anything from address correction detail to you want to see how much you're collecting from your customer versus what the customer or what you're paying the carrier. We have things like that that you can easily print daily, weekly, yearly, whatever your preference is as well. And then lastly, you have the ability to, to look at our e-notification emails that, again, you can set up. Um, so here, if I go into my pending, um, you can see basically if I just open one of these up, um, you can see just an example of what one will look like. So you could basically again, put your logo here, um, put basically it's going to, telling the customer what service was used. This goes to UPS. This is basically a hyperlink to UPS's website for your customer to track. Give them insert a table with the multiple tracking numbers, what was inside of each of those boxes, what for them to expect, and then maybe come back and use it as a marketing tool to maybe offering a coupon code, you know, and come back for a future sale perspective as well. So again, a lot of information. Um, that we can review, but again, it's just all this is at your disposal. These value added tools, as we like to call them, come with the license of Starship. Um, there is no extra fee for those. So if you're using Starship today or not, these are available for you, um, and I highly encourage you to take advantage of them. 
So that concludes today's um, webinar.